Oh man. Got her cleaned up. Looking real good. Real good. What's going on guys? This is Johnny with JRT Productions here. Man. I just wanted to bring out a quick video because uh, I had a couple questions about whether or not uh, some people should supercharge that V6 or just go on to get an RT or better. All right, uh, so my opinion, uh, well, first of all, I'll start off by saying, before I actually got the RT, I did have a V6. I did not get the car for horsepower purposes. I just got it because, hey, I said, man, these 2015 challenges look real nice. So I think that I wanna get one. So when I got the uh, V6 Challenger, it was cool. It was definitely more than I had because I came from like a, came from a Hyundai Sonata. <laughs> not knocking Hyundai Sonatas, but they have great gas mileage. But as far as, uh, as far as the Challenger going up to that, it was definitely where it was. So um, I got the V6 and the 305 horsepower was cool, but it really, after like six or seven months, it really wasn't enough. I started wanting more. So uh, yeah, and when I was on the road, I'd be riding down the street and then like a, a actual RT or a scat pack or whatever. Uh, excuse the wind, I know this feels great out here. Um, but as far as the uh, the horsepower, it just wasn't really doing it for me. And I was like, man, I pulled up beside somebody, they had a Hemi, and it was just amazing. I was like, damn, I should have got an RT. But I wasn't thinking like that at the time. I just wanted a car because it looked nice. So anyway, um, I had the I had the uh, V6 for a minute, and I said, man, I really think you know I want to go on and try to supercharge this thing instead of paying extra thousands of dollars to to uh you know get an rt because i mean when you get an rt then you you pay an extra 10 or 15 uh grand for the actual motor by itself and that's not even including all the extra upgrade options that you can get so from that point i started doing some research looking at the whipples and uh pro chargers and different things like that that i can do to it to make it faster but when i actually looked at the numbers i was coming from 305 and if i actually supercharged it then I'll probably make it up to about four, four thirty maybe, and that still wouldn't put me above like a, you know, a horsepower of a three ninety two, which is probably what, which I think is about four eighty five. So at that point, I told myself, I said, you know what? Uh, and I went on like forums for challengers, and I checked it out, and it just wasn't, it just didn't make a whole lot of sense to me. So at that point, I said. I think I just want to go on and get the uh, going on and get the RT, and that's my recommendation for you guys who are actually thinking about doing the getting the V6 and supercharging it. I don't think it's worth the extra money because you're actually gonna. Hey, how you doing? Oh no, you're good. Yeah, go ahead. It's just right. you know vlogging. Oh, okay, all right. YouTube. Yeah, so um, I don't. I just don't think that it's actually beneficial to spend like five maybe even ten grand because i mean at that point you have to buy the supercharger or pro charger whatever you get is going to cost at least three four maybe five thousand for that then you're going to have the labor actually putting it in that you're going to have to pay for so you're going to be paying an extra ten grand and then a lot of people would say well man if you're going to spend that much on a supercharger then if you have that much to spend then why don't you just go on and get the rt you that money that you're spending on a supercharger you could actually put into a down payment or towards getting the type of uh you know getting a hemi or getting the type of car that you actually want so that's what i did i mean instead of actually spending that money on a supercharger and all that and not being able to even be the 392 because i wasn't trying to get up to hellcat status but um i did definitely want to at least be higher than 392 so i said you know i'm gonna get the rt i can keep that platform it holds its value a lot better than the V6s will. And also, after supercharging it, man, I'll be up to about, what's, let me see. So I got an automatic 5.7, I'm at 372 right now. After all the other mods, cold air intake, I have a cold air intake, Flowmaster exhaust, and you put some long tube headers on it, and then you get a tune on it. And after supercharging it, man, you probably be pushing maybe 550. And you guys correct me if I'm wrong, but I mean, you you would definitely be at, at at least 500 horsepower, and that's real wheel. So um, that's my recommendation, guys. I think like if you're thinking about if you have a V6 and you're thinking about supercharging it, in my opinion, I would definitely say.
just go on and save up the money, get a RT at least. If you um, you know don't want to spend the extra extra thousands and thousands of dollars to get a scat pack because it can get really really expensive. And let's be real, not all of us are really balling to the point where we're making thousands of dollars to where we can afford these really nice and expensive cars. I mean, it's not always like that, so we have to be real about it. Um, you can get an RT for a decent price, and you can do crazy mods to it, and you can actually fix it up to how you want to fix it up, and you'll be killing some motherfuckers out here on these streets. Seriously, I mean, and even guys, y'all, with the V6s, can't sleep on the V6s. They're killing in gas mileage, they look real good. I mean, especially like the 2017, shout out to Tall Guy Car Review. Man, him and his partner, um, I can't remember his name, man, but he's, uh, he's got a clothing line that's called like Organic, um, Organic something, man, I can't, I can't remember it, but he's got, he just got a, uh, a 2017, uh, Dodge Challenger, it's a V6 SXT, and it's orange, it's like that gold mango color, and it is clean, it's got the Apple CarPlay radio in it, and I mean, it rides smooth, and just like they were saying, I mean, it, it rides real smooth, it changes smooth, you're saving gas, and you're looking good. So, yo, the V6s are definitely killing them right now, too. But as far as, um, in my opinion, if you're looking for the speed, and then you're trying to save some money at the same time, I would say definitely at least get the RT, and then supercharge, or do whatever you want to do to it. Because, I mean, at that point, shoot. Like I said, man, you'll be killing, you, you'll definitely be able to get the 392s. Granted, you know how to drive. I'm serious, like, a lot of people have these cars, a lot of horsepower, and don't know how to drive them. I mean, if, if you don't know how to drive, then having, if you have a Hellcat or a Scat Pack or whatever it is, you, you really not going to be doing that good anyway. You're not going to be killing anybody. I remember one time I had my V6, and I pulled up beside a Hemi Charger, and it was just a regular 5.7, and I beat him. I was like, uh, yeah, he didn't know how to drive. He definitely didn't know how to drive. But anyway, guys, I don't want to hold y'all too long, man. Um, this is Johnny with JRT Productions. I hope y'all like the video. Uh, comment, subscribe, you know, do all of that good shit. And, man, I'll be back with some more stuff. And, yo, be safe, be happy, be thankful for where you are in life. And just know that you can do better and you can have anything that you want to have in this world. Don't let nobody tell you any different because you can have whatever you want to have. Trust me. I'm a living witness to that. All right, so I'm about to get up out of here. Peace.